So interesting things, chickens don't sweat. What? Quick interjection here as my daughter is steering the uh, bus uh, to get it to the trailer. Uh, that noise you're hearing and the struggle she's having, let's take a quick look at the steering column and the steering box. So that is the steering column. <laughs> oh boy, uh, I'll tell you more about that later. And that is a one bolt steering shaft to steering box. So as she rotates it, the whole thing moves in the back. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, anyway, back to the loading. They actually got their van. Mm -hmm. They went to Germany, bought it, drove oh, around Europe, and then brought it home. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Man. 
and I mean, Volkswagens are just my family's. My dad had a 65, my grandpa had a 53 ragtop bug, and, and uh, my wedding car was a 73 Beetle that was just awesome, but not exactly ideal when my wife was driving it to school while pregnant with my oldest, so <laughs> something had to change there. Um, and so now with my 69, it's like, I just always just love them. I love the idea of bringing this one like back to life. No, I mean it's solid underneath. Right. That uh, doing a quick voice over here. Um, this guy was a really cool dude. Um, just a real nice man. From Germany originally, he was a Volkswagen mechanic, but he loves the Vanagons more than the Bays, and he has one and a half Bays. I took one of them and some pieces from the other. He's gonna hook me up on some of the parts that mine is missing. Just a real good dude. So I just wanted to share that. Um, it's guys like that that make this uh, just extra special. And he was really digging my uh, family, all helping me, my three kids, helping me, uh, do this bus and he just loves the idea of me trying to get it back on the road so anyway all good over explanation of uh, what my son and I are doing. So no brakes, no engine, no emergency brakes, uh, no transmission, and my driveway slopes down and the wagon or the trailer 
uh, slopes into the garage and we'll launch it into my master bathroom. So, uh, what we're trying to do is we're doing a combination of tire chocks and a super heavy duty uh, ratchet strap. It's like uh, two and a half inches wide, super heavy. And so we did this once before when I had to get my Willys Jeep carcass, uh, had the same problem, no brakes, um, and no emergency brake, nothing, into the garage off of another U-Haul trailer. So the idea is that um, we push it and we get the chocks in place, then we push a little bit more and we get the chocks to hold it. So we just kind of inch it until the back tires are on the ramp and the front tires are still on the trailer itself. And that sort of puts it at equilibrium. Then we start pushing it a little bit more, but now it's gonna like fly into my house, right? Uh, out of control. And my driveway floor is very smooth, uh, so there's no traction at all. So, what we do is once the weight of the bus wants to pull it into the garage i have it on a super heavy duty ratchet strap and that ratchet strap then is you know uh we're using that to hold it in place we push it up slightly forward towards my pickup truck to get it off the chocks but the ratchet strap is holding it in place and then we have the chocks drop back maybe three inches, something like that. And then I let the ratchet strap out and it rolls into the chocks and holes. By the way, these are really good chocks, super heavy duty. They're rubber, not plastic. They've got great grip teeth on them. Uh, highly recommend them. Uh, and then we tighten up the ratchet strap, pull it slightly forward, like a half an inch on the ratchet strap weight. That takes it off the chocks, drop the chocks down, and we basically inch it along until we get to where the bus can roll into the car, into the garage, without rolling into uh, the house, if that makes sense. All right, so uh, anyway, it worked, got the thing in there, uh, nobody got hurt, no property got damaged, uh, and now I just gotta clean the damn thing out.